Susu and welcome to my build and buy overview for The Sims 4 Paranormal Stealth. Now first of all I just want to have a quick look at uh, the haunted house that comes with the game. Um, so if you just want to go straight into gameplay and you're not really someone who builds um, or you just want to just want to get into gameplay anyway because it's exactly your kind of thing. Um, they have this uh, build, Duplantia du Dwelling, um, which will be in your library. Um, and this is it. So, so actually, kind of a cute looking home. They they really went all out with the um, <laughs> did they get did they get, did they get a game changer to build this? This is my guess. Um, uh, I don't see anyone else being able to do this. Um, so it's just a haunted house. It's like it's got the haunted house. Um, it does come with it. So it comes with like these things. Um, ghostly assistance. Meet Gidri the ghost. Spectres, haunted treasure, paranormal activity, a cursed object, it's alive, be brave, each successful now it yields reward store points, aspiring investigators welcome, she is coming for you, whatever the hell that means. Um, so we've got this, uh, yeah, it's, it's a house, it's a nice looking house actually which is why I think it's a game changer house I might be wrong okay I might just be really super judgy of the sims creators but you know um, look at this like sort of just off kilter rug um, yeah I'm so yeah it will be in your library so if you go into your library and you go view contact by Maxis and it'll be right right there next to anything else that they've added for the various packs. So with packs, when they create a new locked type, there is always something in your library. Um, so yeah. Um, Duplantia Dwelling. This old estate was a place that Claude Dunene Duplantia Gidri once called home. It is filled with trinkets and curiosities from his travels around the world. After he died and the home was sold to the one and only Dr. Ashley who took over the home and modernized many of its rooms while keeping the charm of the old estate. Now this home is available once again, but nobody is quite sure what happened to the most recent owner. So that is what you will find in your library. Okay? It is there for anyone who has this pack. You can go straight into the gameplay. Now, let's go back to Manage Worlds and we will look at individual stuff. Um, okay, I'm not quite sure what we will find in it. So, um, yeah, so my general thing is I'm just going to. Are there, yeah, we have, <laughs> nope, uh, seance parlor is one of the rooms that comes with it and so is this one. So you can get these two rooms that are already built and they've got the seance stuff and everything here. Okay, wallpaper, now to filter by everything. Um, We've got one new wallpaper, which is this one. So, these are the different swatches. I like it. It has some really nice swatches. It has some really not nice swatches. Um, I certainly wouldn't be doing a whole house in it but I think it definitely suits the whole haunted house vibe um absolutely uh, now we have just this one new a 
on different swatches, this new flooring. Um, it has some, some of the swatches are really nice. Um, I love the wooden ones, especially. Like that one is, I like that one, I think, the best. Um, yeah. Do we have any stairs? Nope. Do we have a new fence? Nope. Do we have a new note? Do we have a new note? No new plants. Okay. So build, there isn't much for build. It'll probably all be in by. And you have to remember that stuff packs, before The Sims 4, stuff packs was just stuff. It did not come, they did not come with gameplay. Um, but they've been really stepping up the gameplay for The Sims 4 stuff packs recently. Nifty Knitting and this one, they've got a lot of gameplay promised we'll see we'll see how they deliver um so they might not be able to have as much on the way of the stuff because there's only there's a limit to how much they can have in the stuff bags um but yeah we will see here we go all right so we've got a new chair and a new chair and a new chair and a couch and a couch all right so those ones match obviously and then those ones match so they come in a few different color swatches not all of them are patterned some of them are plain which is nice um i quite like this one it's kind of like a more older style but and then this dining chair or seance chair probably <laughs> let's be real no um Again, the same swatches that match that, but the rugs and pillows are different. I quite like that. And then, again, this matches that. I thought it matched that chair. Okay, maybe it doesn't. On. Um. I have questions. I don't. Oh, it matches at the back, I see. Okay, that was confusing me a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. <laughs> um, we have this table with the tablecloth. Some of the tablecloths have really nice patterns. Some of them are plain. Um, yeah. We know how everyone was looking forward to this. extra things down okay so this side table um, I know a lot of people pointed out in the trailer um, it doesn't look like anything that's plain plain but they have some swatches that aren't so colorful which is something we've got this side table actually I quite like that that goes up further I quite like that it has some good metal metallic swatches we have this side table. It looks like a treasure box of sorts. Um, some cool swatches. Um, this coffee table, which with the flowers, is just so pretty. Um, and then some plain ones. Personally, I'd be going for the flowers. But, hey. And then this desk, which is cool. It's different a bit. Because, like, there's that bit that juts out a little bit. Um, I suppose it's supposed to look like it closes. Um, it has some cool swatches. Um, some colourful swatches. And then, of course, some white and black ones. Which is something that people have all, have wanted. And the Sims have, have listened. Then there was this that came. That was in the thing. And the plant is part of it. Um, I wonder if people will be able to detach that, like CC creators will detach that because I know some people were like, oh I want that plant separately. Um, I, this is nice and it's got some plain swatches, but I think it looks better in some of the other ones. Um, like I quite like that swatch. Um, okay. Now to over here we have... seance table and then the whole set 
with the seance table. Okay, so we've got this like sort of hutch. Um, again, it'll be the same colours as everything else has been. So there's the white and black ones, and then there's like other fun colours. Then we've got the seance table, which you have to get the crucible separately, um, or you can just get the whole set like that. Um, it comes in a few different colours, and then the crystal ball comes in different colours as well. I'll leave that there. Um, and then there's this plant and the vase. The things just switches the switches the vase. Um, this one it looks like you have to unlock. No. Um. Oh yeah. this um so we've got like this cool hanging plant I like I like it we need more hanging plants um and we have this plant I quite like this one um and again it has a similar vase to that one so I imagine oh no the flowers change color as well okay um, the cow plant terrarium, the fern, palm tree, whatever. We've got some more pictures. I mean, that one, I think. So we've got the different. So that comes in different things. We've got the two pictures of Ghidri um, that just changes the frame. Okay, and then this is of his house. A painting of the last known residence of Tempest, Melissa Spirit, Avipold, a former, former love interest of Claude Rene. De Plantier Guidry. Oh, so there's like a full on story here. Interesting. Um, we've got. Oh, I didn't check to see if there were new windows and doors. I'm silly. We've got these curtains, which are like they've got some beads. Um, and then they have the plain swatches as well. The statue of Horus. So this is like. They've got a full-on story for this character here. I mean, I guess I'd have to. Um, hand, because, you know. This statue has ability to alter the rules of a haunted house slightly, capable of making things more challenging or ensuring a certain ghost doesn't appear at night. These rules are entirely optional and can be disabled if you change your mind. Huh. So, if you use that, you can change things. Book of Silhouettes. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, you know, house silhouettes. Occult markings. Yeah, this rug. Oh, I like how this rug looks old. Okay, not all of them, but this swatch kind of looks, looks a bit old and faded. We got the new fireplace. We are here for new fireplaces always. Um, I quite like this. Some of the colours are really fun. Um, a dream catcher. A tea tray. Oh my god, a tea tray. Give me that tea tray. Uh, the dream catcher comes in different colours. Tea tray, tea tray, tea tray, tea tray, tea tray. Um, anyway, we get a couple of lights. <sighs> Alright. So we've got this light, this wool lamp. I like that. Quite like that a lot. And then this hanging lamp. Alright. 
now windows there weren't any new windows or doors okay so again you know um there's some cool stuff in here um definitely some different vibes to what we've got with the previous things like a different aesthetic type thing um and looking at the descriptions and stuff you can get like some backstory to the whole haunted house thing um so that's cool yeah overall some good stuff um it is a stuff pack there's gonna be less stuff than in other packs that's just how it is um yeah i think if you're gonna build a haunted house though you're gonna want to use other packs like i don't know i don't know about me about you but for me if i'm building a haunted house it's gotta have cobwebs it's gotta have cracks in the wall and just be like creepy um so i'd be using vampires pack at the very least as well to be making uh, a haunted house um i mean they seem to manage it with just base game and the stuff for the one that's in the library but i don't know i think you're gonna want to use other packs to make a really a proper haunted house you know um <laughs> Well, maybe I'm just particular. So, people were wondering about like the things that were new windows and stuff. They're not. They were just the stuff that came with the um, an update a few years ago, a couple of what, well, like a year ago. I don't know. Um, it was the same update that had hijabs. Um, so I don't know how long ago that was. Time doesn't time doesn't make sense um so yeah I I don't know I don't know um I'm I thought maybe I have to unlock unlock it um um let's go baby dot ignore gameplay Entitlements. Um, BB dot show hidden objects. Um, there we go. Here's the stuff that comes that you get. So these will be things that the spectres and stuff leave down here. So we've got like this wraith wax. Um, I don't know. Um, bizarre idols. Um, soul scrap. Oh gosh. Candles. Chalk seance circle. Um. And then there's the creepy doll and the spectre sip. So like you have to, uh, th th some of the stuff, the creepy doll that you saw in the thing. Um it's gonna you know a lot of stuff is gonna be like debug only um which yeah ectocake ectoplasm oh my gosh interesting so we'll be able to do oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh okay 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 maybe i shouldn't have looked at that it's spoilerish really um but yeah that is the build and buy overview um i don't know what to say it's definitely different aesthetics um am i right in saying it's very new orleans inspired i don't know i don't know america and i don't do new orleans um but i don't know you know how there's like a lot of like spooky happenings in new orleans or whatever I feel like that's what is being is inspiring for this one so yeah that is all for this video thanks for watching and i will see you next time dag dag